you will be aware of this initram fs window sometimes when the file system get crop of the linux system or ubuntu if you are using that time this window appears when we unexpectedly shut down the system and many things remain open and then we again reboot the system and try to uh, log in and shows this type of window when whenever there is a missing file system of the os or any file system get corrupted which is required by the os or the kernel while boot the os finds like this file is corrupt or it's missing something then it, this window will come up so what's the fix for this window how you can fix this error in simple command so you have only so you have to run fsck command to check the file system where your os is stored or os files are being stored so let me show what is this initramfs moving to next slide it's like initramfs is used as a first first root file system that your machine has access to it is used to mount the real root fs which has all your data like uh, this is one of uh, the primary executor when you boot your os introduced in kernel version 2.4 moving next now here is how the init fs init ramfs executes the first process to get control in the init process the init process procedurally invokes other scripts kept in init rd these scripts are kept in the scripts dir in your init ramfs the script dir is further divided into the following dir init top init pre mount boot top boot pre mount boot boot bottom init bottom these are these are the procedural steps which performed by the init ramfs while was booting so once you see this type of error you are facing on your um, system you have to run the following command in the next slide you can see like init ramfs you have to pass the command like fsck space slash dev slash sda whatever the os file is located at like you can pass here sda1 if your os is uh, stored in sda1 you can pass sda x x here it's given x4 drive name maybe one two three six something like that once you complete this process once your uh, file system check get over then you need to reboot your system with this following command reboot and hope your system will be recovered successfully when you will run this fsck command you will get like uh, some file system has been modified and once this fs check completes you can reboot the system to get the os back and you will be able to log into your system thanks for watching